We're here at Integrate Middle East 2024 for the second year in a row. I am joined by Basil from Oasis Enterprises. Basil, it's great to be speaking with you here again. Thank you for being here. This is a market that's really growing right now, right? You've been working in Saudi Arabia for five years, working in the Emirates for, well, almost beyond 40 years now. It, it's a hugely growing market and Oasis must be growing with it, right? Absolutely. Um, Oasis currently has four offices. Uh, located in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, uh, Doha, and uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, the recent uh, office for us is a KSA office in Riyadh, uh, which is a great market, uh, as you said, um, a large growing market uh, that we have been attending to since uh, five, uh, five years. And the team is also growing there, and uh, we hope to achieve a lot in, in that market as well. As a company that's been operating in this region for so many years now, you must have seen significant change in the trends and challenges of the Middle Eastern market. Um, starting with the trends, what are you seeing that's really driving change and innovation in this region? Well, at Oasis, we like to create trends like rather than following trends. So uh, one of the things that we've also created within Oasis uh, recently is um, having a business unit called Robotics and AI. Uh, which takes care of uh, supply of um, solutions related to robots, uh, VRs, uh, holograms, and so on, augmented realities. So it is something that I would say is definitely coming to, the usage of AI is definitely coming to our industry one way or another, and um, we have to adopt to it, and we, we've actually started it, and we have now have a couple of very interesting projects uh, for um, a semi-AV kind of applications. So I would say this is one of the latest trends that we are also involved in. And I must say as well, walking around the show floor, there is a big focus on experiential technologies and things that are more geared towards entertainment and in-person experiences. That seems to be a big focus of change here in it's, the region. It's been always the case, yes. Mm. And what would you say are the biggest challenges that are facing systems integrators in the region at the moment? What would you say are your biggest obstacles here? Um, I would say the challenges are mainly around balancing the um, quality uh, solution, quality with the budget uh, available uh, by the client. And to select very carefully the uh, type of products and the solutions that you provide to the client. Uh, without compromising on the quality, but also because price is becoming um, part of the decision that the clients are um, using to do the selection. So the balance is, is very careful. If, if you, you know, uh, um, overlook the quality, is not a good solution over uh, long term, but also for some clients, a very long term is not the look, is about just fulfilling the budget and moving on. So it's a critical balance, I would say this is the major challenge uh, that we are facing. And this isn't a market that ever stands still. There's always new players in the market, new opportunities, new projects and new challenges. You touched on the role that AI and holograms have to play in the market now. How do you see uh, the audiovisual market in the Middle East evolving over the next, say, five to ten years? Well, eventually, with this, uh, when this technology, the AI, especially uh, the AI, special, especially the AI technology, I mean, is very difficult to anticipate what is going to be. I mean, with all the huge jumps on, on the technology, but eventually, uh, I would say, on the, the uh, fields that we are entering the uh, AI and the robots into it, this is, will be a very positive interference into the AI. As you said, this will um, help developing the uh, in-person experience of the customers and um, holograms and uh, robots will also play a great role in that as well. It seems like there's plenty happening in this market, plenty more to come, and hopefully we'll see you next year at Integrate Middle East. I hope once again. to. I hope so. Brilliant. Basil, thank you so much for your time thank today. You. It's been a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.